Vegas, 75 kilogram semi-final round. So we move now on to the men's 75 kilogram semi-final. Herman El Temur, the 22-year-old from Istanbul. He was the world cadet champion in 2012. He's just 22 years old now. So can he turn it on? Hussan Osman, his coach there, walking him in. Will he get the customary slap? He certainly will. <coughs> Well, double world, double European champion. The man from Italy, from Napoli, Luigi Busa. Fully focused and ready to go here. And his father and coach there, Nello Busa. Do they have a game plan to overcome Erman El Temur? Well, Luigi Busa didn't have it all his own way in the qualification rounds. Noah Bish gave him a lot of trouble, as did Tbilisi of Hungary, so the German and the Hungarian gave Busa plenty of problems. El Temur will be trying to do the same, the Turk in red, the Italian in blue. Nice jab on the way through. Movilo, Movilo, get moving, move around. Always important when you're in a fight is to move around, to shake off the adrenaline, to try and get your body moving. And also to try and give a few fake signals to your opponent, try and bemuse them and confuse them through your movement. Faking and fainting, changing the angles of attack. So many decisions have been made. Milliseconds required to score. Tiny margins of distance separating the two. Just a fake front punch there again. Luigi Busa doing the same thing to just try and reclaim a bit of real estate on the Titami. He's been pushed back a little bit here, the Italian. El Tamur strong in the centre. Good punch there on the way through. Well, the crowd very knowledgeable in their karate and they know the one point there for El Tamur makes the difference. <laughs> well, Busa thought he had got one there. He's got a very frenetic and confusing style. Tries to move his arms and legs around as much as possible to confuse his opponent. Step through with the hook and kick there. Well, have we got a, a video replay card request? Let's have a look at the hook and kick here of the man in blue. Steps through. Well, it clearly hit in the back of the head, or aiming for the back of the head, but it looked as if it landed between the shoulders. Well, it is successful. The three-point shot there. On both occasions, both athletes had a video replay in play. So it was a three-point kick for Busa, a one-point punch for El Tamur. Makes it a one-point game here. Busa presents a small target there. Steps down, well, the referee had stepped in there. Nelo Busa father and coach imploring his son and athlete he knows that he can do it he knows that he can take the gold here but El Tamur very much in this contest only a point separating them Bravo, 
killing time, creating confusion, but there's a roundhouse turning kick to the body. Great power. Wonderful kick there to the flank of Busa. <laughs> you can see what he thinks of it. He's got the video replay card straight out. It looked like a scoring technique so fast that you can understand that the judges might need to have another look at it. And it looked like a definite score from here, but who would be a judge? Well, they've overruled it. Just a little warning for the coach there, just to keep cool. Holding on the inside there from El Tamur, takes the deduction. Busa still hanging on to this lead, just moving around, trying to kill time. El Tamur thought he had scored there, pulled away too soon, and it was the point for a simple shot to the body. Oh, how quickly things change. Well, this makes it an incredible battle here now. Could this go to judges' decision? Will it go to the more accurate and aggressive competitor? There's 10 seconds left to decide the spot in the final in the men's 75 kilogram contest. A punch goes in from El Tamur, a turning kick, one from each. Has Luigi Busa scored the headshot that could seal his space in the final? We can't use his video replay card. So two seconds left. It'll come down now to the referee's verdict. A pulsating contest, this one, for a spot in the final. And it's Luigi Busa. And Eltimore. And Eltimore disconsolate. Busa. Delighted, the win for the Italian. Experience got him through there, you have to say. Found a way to win the 27-year-old. Father and son embrace. Well, now that we've got a little flavour of what karate is all about, I'm sure you're anxious to see more. What's most impressive to me is the show of etiquette.